So I've got a pretty good sized canoe collection with some pretty cool canoes and it's too cold out and it's been snowing too cold out to go canoeing so I thought I'd bring one in and show it to you and maybe uh, maybe do that periodically. And this one is uh, I think my second oldest canoe. This is from 1978 and it's made by Bert Hathaway and the model is the Rob Roy. Bart Hathaway was one of the early pioneers in lightweight fiberglass canoe and kayak construction uh, during the 70s. Uh, he was apparently quite a good kayak slalom, uh, slalom kayaker back in the 60s. And in the 70s, he sort of turned his attention to boat construction and was one of the very earliest people to do that in lightweight fiberglass and his boats I think still really stand the test of time. He made a lot of models, both canoes and kayaks, and um, this is one of his more popular ones. This is the Rob Roy 10 and a half feet long. He made two other Rob Roy's. He made a 12 foot one for larger people and he also made a 10 and a half foot one that was more narrow and had less depth for smaller people. Um, this boat, uh, when I acquired this boat, I really didn't have to do very much to it. Just um, changed out the carrying handles. The, that rope was pretty old. And also the vinyl pinstriping, that was, that was in pretty bad condition. So removed all of that and replaced that. That was hard to get off, that old vinyl pinstriping. But I think it looks really good now. It, what makes this a canoe versus a kayak is a good question. To me, personally, a boat that you sit in with your legs extended and you're using a double-bladed paddle is kind of inherently a kayak, a boat that was designed that way, which would make this a kayak. However, Bar Hathaway considers this a canoe, classifies this as a canoe, so I'm not going to argue with the maker. Uh, it's got, it did not come, one thing it did not come with is the thwart for your back. So at some point that got lost or broken. So I replaced it with a curved wooden thwart. My son 3D printed uh, fittings that go into the existing fittings in the boat. And I have just a nice kayak back band here. And it's quite comfortable. It's actually his favorite boat for flat water, especially twisty flat water uh, back in tidal creeks and that kind of thing. I kind of prefer kneeling with a single bladed paddle, but my son prefers sitting with a kayak paddle, and this is a great boat for that. So I think it's really in just amazingly good shape. It has a uh, build card fiberglass into the hull in here. It's very difficult to read though, but it does have the weight of the boat. It's listed as 25 and a half pounds. Keep in mind, this was back in 1978, so that's quite lightweight. And it also is signed by the maker, Bart Hathaway as well, so that's kind of cool. And I'm trying to think of anything else to tell you guys about it. Yeah, oh, it also comes with, you probably can't see it from that angle, but it also comes with a mast up, and I don't, you wouldn't really call this a mast fort, I don't think, but it comes uh, with the ability to put a mast in. And apparently Bart was quite the uh, canoe sailor back in the day. So that's kind of a cool little a cool little thing to have. And yeah, I think that's about it. So anyway, this is the 1978 Bart Hathaway made, handmade, hand laid fiberglass, Rob Roy 10 and a half. So probably I might do a Blackhawk canoe next. The Blackhawk's a pretty pretty cool maker. So it's been fun talking with you guys. Hopefully, if you have any questions. Leave them for me down in the box, and if you want to uh, hit like, that'd be great. If you want to subscribe uh, and see more content like this, that'd be great. If you want to support this channel, I'll leave a link down below to my PayPal account, and uh, it's been fun. Okay, thanks guys. See you next time.